Hey, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Gentle reminder as always to one, smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel as well. These are free and easy ways to support the channel. And as always, we do appreciate the support. Now, this topic, you know, is going to be a quick one for this particular video. This topic might be a bit of a hot button issue, a hot button topic. Now, guys, this is just my personal opinion, you know, guys. You guys can leave your opinions in the comment section. This is just my personal preference right now. The major question is, Nicholson or Mikel Antonio, who starts for the reggae boys? Right now, guys, who starts for the reggae boys? If a game was being played tomorrow and you had Shaman, you are the coach, Paul Hall. Put yourself in Paul Hall's shoes. You had Boza or Nicholson. You had Boza rather or Antonio to choose from. Who would you choose to start? Which one would start, guys? No, we all know Shaman Nicholson is the man in serious, serious goal scoring form. This guy is scoring goes like crazy right now in Belgium for Charlotte, right? On the other hand, Mikel Antonio, goal scoring form kind of, you know, has been off of late, you know, hasn't been banging them in like he was earlier in the season, but we all know the player's quality right now. Here's the thing. It's not as if Mikel Antonio overnight just became a, a, a striker that cannot score goals in the Premier League. I already did a video on this saying that, you know, I personally think that the main issue at hand is that Mikel Antonio is not used to playing so many games, right? In terms of playing for Jamaica, playing for West Ham in the Premier League and also in the Europa League as well, right? He has never played so many games in a season before, right in terms of playing so many competitions and then when you add that to the thousands the tens of thousands of miles that you will be traveling to come and play for jamaica as well so you know the player might might not be as sharp right as we know him to be but yet still we know this player is a top class striker this is a player that has scored double digit goals per season in the toughest league in the world for a club that has not necessarily been one of the best clubs in um in England right um last season they, they had a, a good a very good season by their standards right but you know we all know the quality of Mikel Antonio and what he can do at the highest level and even this season you know more than likely he will get to double digit goals per season this season as well but you know we have to admit the player is not in the greatest goal scoring form however i think the the, the reports or the commentary coming out of england has been a little bit harsh on the player the act as if the player game in game out is playing like trash which you know i personally disagree with i don't think it is true shamar boza nicholson on the other hand in a rich vein of form scoring a ton load of goals right what 13 goals so far this season and a number of assists as well right i think it's five assists in something like 18 games right the player is banging them in but but it's not in the premier league it's not in a top five league in europe it's the belgian pro league which nevertheless is still a very good league right who would I choose? Mikel Antonio or Shamar Nicholson? Guys, I'm going to go with, I'm still going to go with Mikel Antonio. I know, I know that the, you know, the, the form comparison between both, yes, true. You know, one is doing better than the other, but I'm still going to go with Mikel Antonio. For starters, here's my rationale. If I were to take Mikel Antonio, out of the English Premier League and put him in the Belgian Pro League on that Charlotte team. Honestly, I think he would score more goals than what Nicholson is on right now. Honestly. I honestly believe that. 
The other way around now, if I was supposed to take Shamar Nicholson and put him on that West Ham team in the English Premier League, I don't think he would do better than what Mikel Antonio has done so far this season. Honestly, and that, that's not bashing the player. I think the player has tremendous potential. I hear people saying that, you know, the up next is a move to England. People want to see him in the English Premier League. Guys, relax, right? We need to take this a step at a time with Shamar Nicholson. We can't be jumping steps, right? Boza, from a technical standpoint, in my opinion, is a bit inconsistent and is not ready for the English Premier League, the toughest league in the world, right? From a technical standpoint, I don't think he's, he's ready for a league that moves at the pace at which the English Premier League does. I don't think he has the technical capacity to cope, right, with that, with the, with the pace of the game in England, right? And so when, when I hear people say, oh, the player, you know, needs to move to England, no. Do I think he should make a move? Yes, but I think it should be a move to like France or Germany. The Prem, in my humble opinion, is just too big of a jump right now, guys. I think we as Jamaicans, we just want to see the players in the Premier League. We don't care if it's an ID situation. We don't care if it is a good situation. We don't care if the player will be playing if the striker will be playing in a club that will provide him service, we, 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 don't, we, we don't care about having the player move to England when he is one ready and two, you know, if an ideal set of circumstances comes about for the player to perform as best as he possibly can. We just want to see the player move to, move to the Prem and I don't agree with that, right? I think both are moving to the Prem right now could potentially be a massive blow to his career, right? For starters, you know, I don't see him getting a move to a club right now that would give him a lot of service. And then the little scraps that he would have to feed off of, Shamar Nicholson is still not the most clinical striker. I want to see Shamar Nicholson make a move to England when he is ready. Any move premature to when he is ready, I think is just a bad move, would be a bad choice, right? Take it step at a time, don't rush it, right? So that's why I go with Mikel Antonio, guys. He is a proven goal scorer at the highest level. One, two, as a center forward, I think Mikel Antonio has done the best performance that we have seen a center forward do in the year 2021 that performance against the united states the player was holding up the ball well the player was putting himself about right the player was helping to provide that connectivity in the final third you know so he you know he and some of his teammates sometimes didn't seem to be on the same page and, and, and quite a number of plays, but I think the more they play together, that would be rectified, right? But, I mean, Mikel Antonio was just very good in the game and very, and then we never even got to talk about the goal, guys, right? So, honestly, I just think that, you know, class is permanent, man. Class is permanent. And not saying that Boza isn't class, Boza is class. But Mikel Antonio is just next level class, man. Honestly, given the form that he's in for country and given the level at which we know he can perform at the highest level, I would give the edge to Mikel Antonio right now, even though Shamar Nicholson is in a rich vein of form for club. Mikel Antonio is in a rich vein of form for country. And also from the perspective of continuity, right? I would go with Mikel Antonio right now to continue on what happened in the last round for him to build on what happened in the last round. You never know when you can get that moment of magic from Mikel Antonio in CONCACAF. Yes, Boza is a good player, right? Top-notch player. But I just, I just don't think, 
I just don't think that he can provide that that level. Not saying he cannot provide individual brilliance, you know, but I don't think he can provide that level of individual brilliance that Mikel Antonio can provide and also provide it as consistently as Mikel Antonio has done so far in CONCACAF, right? And also Mikel, you know, is a, is a more clinical striker in my opinion, especially given the fact that he's a proven goal scorer at a much higher level than Shamar Nicholson has, you know, scored. You know, guys, the Prem and the Belgium Pro League are worlds apart. Worlds apart, right? Just two different planets, right? So I'd, I would just go with the, 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 the class act, the player that has done it in the toughest league in the world, Mikel Antonio, right? I think that player in CONCACAF will do a bit more damage than Shamar Nicholson. That's my humble opinion. You guys can hit me up in the comment section and let me know what are your thoughts where that is concerned, where this particular topic is concerned. Another hat trick from Boza. Congratulations to Boza. The player is firing and firing firing off all cylinders. And it is very good to see a Jamaican born striker doing it big in a top league in Europe like Belgium. Still think the player is a bit raw. There's still some rawness there from a technical standpoint. Still some inconsistencies with time. With time, I think Boza will become a top-notch player. You know, I've previously said that I think the player will, you know, has the potential to become a double-digit goal per season scorer in a top five league in Europe. I'm starting to change that now. I think the player could become at his peak, if he maximizes his full potential, a 20 plus goal per season scorer in a top five league in Europe. Right. But Boza is still on the development. He's still on the up and up. So hopefully the player maximizes his full potential. You know, another hat trick, another brilliant performance. Trust me, guys, Boza has improved. He has, he has improved tremendously this year. We have to give him his props. So, guys, that's my two cents on this major issue. Boza or R. Antonio. Smash the like button, guys, and subscribe to the channel as well. Take care and until next time.